Hey everyone, so in the last video, I just had finished the second part of the entrance test of the Holberton School called the Level 2. It took place over two weeks and most of the work was on building a website from scratch using the text editor Emacs, HTML, CSS and JavaScript following some specific rules. We also used uh, played, uh, played quite a lot of the, the shell, the command line. So that was a pretty, I don't know how to say it in English, but pretty well rounded experience. There was like quite a lot of things that was really, really cool. Uh, before that, I never used any of those tools, only the command line a little bit at the beginning of 2020 when I learned for one month Python and then that's it. So the world experience was pretty intense and I absolutely loved it. That was really cool. It, um, it was really cool to, to, to create something. It definitely felt like, I don't know, like the, the best coding experience I ever had. I, I don't have so much experience. Um, like I said in the previous video, one month of Python at the beginning of 2020 and three weeks of C-sharp at the beginning of this year. But that was, that was really different. Um, yeah, to create a whole product uh, learning different languages, trying to figure out how they interact together. This, this is the part that really uh, uh, excited me the most, uh, that I found the most interesting. Um, you know, how this whole thing that, 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 that you play with can create something and sort of take life. Um, yeah, that, that, that was really cool. Uh, so I'm like doing this video, but I received the result a few days ago now and I got 100% on the level two so i'm i'm pretty pumped <laughs> yeah that, that, that's really cool the next phase of the test is the level three which is a 30 minute challenge where you connect uh, to a remote server running linux via, uh, through an ssh so ssh is a secured network that you use to connect from one machine to another one. So for example, in my case, I will connect from my MacBook to a server. So I will connect to a Linux virtual machine using this secured network SSH. Uh, so now I'm going to quickly cover or organize myself for the level two. And just after that, talk about uh, what I plan to do for the last phase of the test. So first the website, so it started like this basically. So this is the Emacs text editor and originally it was full of code and I deleted everything. I wanted to really start from scratch. Uh, so I, yeah, I did things really step by step, try to understand First, why we use this, why this means, where is the information, what, what, what does the information uh, um, contained in the head tags means. Like for example, in this case, this is information where we will include the search engine, engine optimization uh, uh, tags, you know, for example, to get uh, to appear easier on Google or things like this. And this is, this is where the information that is hidden for, from the viewer kind of is, is located. And in the body, this is where the information that the viewers uh, can see uh, partially, of course, because they don't see the whole lines of code that is located. So yeah, I started playing around a little bit with formatting colors and, and stuff like this. Here I created some links. Uh, then clean that a little bit more and then uh, started structuring a little bit more into the, the, the finite product. I don't know if I can say, say that in English and, and separating and creating paragraphs. Um, then we introduced the CSS files and I started playing a little bit more with the colors. Uh, for example, like putting a black background and, uh, and yellow font. Um, yeah, and then yeah, playing a little bit more again. So here on the left is the Emacs, te Emacs text editor. So I did everything through the Emacs text editor. Um, yeah, here I found my final color and I figured that would be cool 
to share also. Uh, I thought originally that, <laughs> that that we were gonna keep the, the, the website that we created, but that's not the case. It was completely erased. So I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna figure, uh, I'm gonna share a little bit of the resources I use. So as you can see, I use uh, so, so some courses on the site. The, these courses, I mean, uh, I used it uh, for the for, for, for the two weeks uh, test, and these are courses I'm uh, currently uh, working on. Uh, I want to increase my mathematic knowledge uh, a lot in order to, to do my project. So then uh, I did uh, discuss, comment, and interactive um, social community interactive section and had a little bit problem with it. Um, the, the, the font became white, I couldn't read it. So I had to play with the, the, the options on the discuss website. Then I did some uh, social media sharing button. They were not aligned. I figured out how to align them. And this was the final uh, product. Now about my notes. So I used the application Notion to take my notes. I copy pasted all the indications that were given. So this is what was written, for example, on the second section of the first part. Uh, yeah, the indication that they gave us and okay, this was not supposed to be done. And for example, I added some command I found interesting um, and I added also some extra links. So I'm going to reorganize that later, but for now I, I didn't. Yeah, that, that, that's how I did things. Um, but the website, maybe I can show something that was here. Yeah. Yeah. So here for the HTML part, I put some personal notes here. Um, the guidance is indication that the uh, course gave us. And also I wrote down a few questions that I was taking a look at from time to time and, and answering and added some links that I found on the site. So the, it worked pretty good for me to, to, to take notes like this. And uh, yeah, so also one thing is a technique that I used when I was yeah, doing this stuff was to never copy paste a line of code. So for example, I didn't find an answer about some things and I was looking on the internet. I found the line of code I was supposed to use, but I never copy pasted one line of code. I typed them completely all the time. Like this, I could, um, um, I could, re how to say that, but, but by doing it myself, I could remember the commands better and I was playing uh, uh, with the command. Every time I was finding a new, uh, I was coming across a new command like the RM command, which delete content. I was, for example, deleting folders and deleting files and using the CP command, moving one file or one folder to another one uh, and then delete it again and, and things like this and playing around with the commands until I could visualize and them and have a pretty good idea of uh, 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 um, idea of wha what it was doing. So now about the level three, how I organize myself for the next phase of the level three. So this is an article I found after going through the level two. This is an article from the Holberton School from 2015. And the information that they share is really, really good here. So they give you three courses that they recommend you to take before doing the level two test. So these three courses, I'm going through them right now, all the three of them. And this one is pretty cool, offered by Code Academy about the Linux command line. So this is my preparation for now. It's Saturday and I plan on doing the test on Monday. So I will keep you updated of my success. See you soon.